There has just been a leak for War Thunder's final update of the year. It has a bunch of stuff that people were asking for, and it's lacking something in particular. I don't really trust it, but here's everything on the leak. The A6E SWIP is just a call sign of the leaker. You have the F16E and F, along with the F14D Tomcat for the United States. This list is saying Japan is going to get the F2. China will get the J10C, along with the Type 15. Israel will get the Spider, which is an SPAA, along with the Lobby. The OSA is making its reappearance on this leak list, going to Germany, Italy, and the US. SSR. The Bismarck and the SMS Yorok for Germany are also on this list. It looks like Great Britain's going to get the ATE Superhind Mark III along with the HMS Warspite. It looks like Sweden might end up getting a premium F-16 MLU for Norway. This leak list states we'll be getting two new subtrees. We'll be getting Poland and a North Korean subtree for China. Notably, it doesn't state which tree Poland will be going to, but my guess is Germany. And the final major addition included in this leak is Asa Radar. It's basically anything you can want in a radar. It's pretty modern. Now, there's a couple reasons why I don't trust this leak list so far. First off, this leak list is coming out extremely early. It's only been like two weeks since the last major update. Second, update cycles usually occur like air, ground, air, ground, but the last two updates have both been air, so it wouldn't make very much sense for it to be another air update. Third, I don't think War Thunder is going to forget about Benelux because they added it to the French tree two updates ago now. I don't think they would continue updating other tech trees without adding the ground elements to it. And just looking at the F2, the AAM5 would have to come to the game, and it's an IR missile with 35 kilometers of range. I feel like that would break the game too much if not every other nation got one. 